because you would not believe how much stuff I have here to show you. If you saw my floor right now, you'd be like, whoa, Natisha, you need an intervention. Hi there, welcome back. Today I have a huge haul for you and this haul is from several different thrift stores. Two thrift with me videos. If you have not seen those videos, I will link them down in the description of this video so you can go there and check them out. And my first haul is from Village Green Thrift Store. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about each item because I have so many of them here. So. I'm going to quickly show you what I got and what I would expect to get for it in my Etsy shop. So let's get right to the haul. So because I have so much stuff here to show you, I'm not going to tell you what I expect to get for it in my Etsy shop. Instead, I will have it pop out here after each item. That'll get me going through here a little bit quicker. Otherwise, we'll be here forever because <laughs> you would not believe how much stuff I have here to show you if you saw my floor right now, you'd be like, whoa, Natisha, you need an intervention. <laughs> so let's get right to it and I will show you everything that I got. So we'll start off with this piece, this cute little Mexican Tanala pottery tile with the butterfly on it. It was $2.50. It is marked Mexico on the bottom, and I believe that is an N in a circle. And it did come with this cute little wood plate holder here. And I paid $2.50 for this piece. And this little guy, I originally thought that he was made in Japan. I thought that's what the bottom said but I don't believe that it does. And I did a Google lens search. That is what I always do with each item. If I don't know much about it, I will do a Google lens search just to see if anything pops up. Several similar pieces popped up when I did a Google lens search, not this exact one but they were mostly listed as Russian porcelain. And I will insert the name because I will butcher it if I try and say it. So I think that possibly this may be a Russian porcelain piece. I paid $4 for him and I think he's a hound dog. If you know better, let me know. <laughs> but I think that he is a hound dog. He has that blue and white kind of flow blue look to him. And I grabbed these coasters. They were $4. They are marble made in India. Really nice condition. Very minimalist. Speaking of minimalist, this alabaster tea light holder was $3. Really nice condition. This would fit right into a Japandi decor. And I just learned about Japandi. And that is Japanese Zen mixed with Scandinavian. So this would probably fit right into that decor, as well as a minimalist decor. I grabbed a few mustache mugs. This one was $1.50. It is a lot newer than this one. This one's a lot brighter white. I believe it is porcelain and neither of them have makers marks or stamps or stickers or anything on the bottom. 
This one was $1.50 and this one was $6. And I'm not sure, is this an actual mustache mug? It's a lot different than this one. The holes. So I don't know for sure. But I just thought they were both really fun. I don't know why, but I really like mustache mugs. No, I don't have a mustache. I just think they're kind of a neat concept. Don't get your mustache all full of coffee. So this one is definitely a lot older though. And these candlestick holders were $2.50 each. They are eucalyptus rudis wood made in Orange County, California. And the artist's name and the date that they were made, 1975, is on the bottom of both candlestick holders in really nice condition. This one does have some charring on the inside. This one's in nice condition. A little bit of wax residue in there, but other than that, in really nice condition. Very nice quality, interesting looking candlestick holders, I think. And I grabbed this beautiful candlestick holder. It is Studio Art Pottery and it says live on it. I believe those are grapes and grape vines, I think. And there is a stamp and a signature. I could not find any information on this piece. The signature is JA, I believe. And I paid $2 for this piece. If you know any more about this piece or this artist JA, or the stamp on it, please let me know. I'm assuming that it is Canadian made as most of the studio art pottery that I find around here is Canadian made. So possibly it is made in Canada and it could also be used as an Ikebana, a small metal flower frog could be inserted on the inside and it could be used as an Ikebana as well. And I just thought it was a beautiful piece of pottery. I liked that it said live on it. Sorry about the glare there. And this piece of glass, art glass, was $8. I did find this exact same piece listed on Etsy and it was listed as Murano. There is no sticker or anything on the bottom. So I do not know if this is actually Murano glass. It is very nice quality. The bottom is polished. I've got the sticker on the bottom, but I will show you. It is, looks quite nicely done. But not knowing for sure if this is actually Murano, I will not list it as such. But I thought it was just a beautiful vase. I really like splash of color here. And I paid $8 for it. I can never remember if I tell you the prices or not. This is a just a little tooled leather wallet. I paid $1.50 for it. It's got a, what looks to me like an indigenous design on it. This looks like a whale and I'm not sure what this is. Possibly a sturgeon. And it's on both sides. Just a cute little coin purse. As I've mentioned before, I like to rescue those whenever I find them. And I found some hankies. And I got these, each of these hankies were $1.50. This one was $2.50. It's a really pretty rose one. Lots of spots on these ones. 
little stains, except for this one, I think was the only one that didn't really have a lot of staining on it. It's in really nice condition. So what I'm got, probably going to do with these is put them in a lot and sell them as a lot. I have a few tablecloths that have some condition issues. So I will put all those linens into one lot. Hopefully someone will be able to repurpose them and use them in some way. This one is a brand new one. Well, it's not brand new, it's an old one, but it's never been used, still in the original packaging. And it is cotton made in Ireland, really pretty. So I will sell this one separately on its own. The other ones I will lot them with some other linens with condition issues and hope that someone can repurpose them. And I've said this before, I don't usually buy dolls. Dolls are not my thing, but this one was so super cute. She was only a dollar. So I had to get her. Look at her side eye look. <laughs> so cute. And she's got her little bobby pin, her little bloomers on. I just thought she was super cute. So for a dollar, I thought she's got to come home with me. I did find a few of these listed on eBay. And the two that I found that were very similar had green hair. And one was listed for $188. The other one was listed for $1,245 <laughs> because of the rare green hair, I guess. And I would definitely not expect to get anywhere near that for this little one. She is, I believe it's Sheba Company, is the company that made these little dolls, I think. If I find more information, I will put it up here as well. But Look at how cute she is. Oh my goodness, little side eye. <laughs> She's so cute. I grabbed this. It was a dollar and it's just a cloth, little cloth book called Toys. Washable, non-toxic. And it's got pictures of toys in it. Old vintage toys. And there's no date on it. It is Cuddly Cloth Book. That's what it's called, Cuddly Cloth Book. But for a dollar, I had to grab it. And these were a dollar each. I was so excited when I found these. <laughs> They're just so super cute. Little cruels. There's a puppy with a bone and a bird and a flower. And this one is a mouse in a mouse trap. <laughs> Clearly he figured out the trap. And this one is a lamb with a flower in its mouth. Super cute. And a cat and butterfly and flowers. And I just thought these were so adorable. How cute would these be in a baby's room? And they're not framed and I will sell them in one listing, but they can be purchased separately because someone may not want to buy them all. They may just want one picture. So I've, I will put them in a listing together, but can be purchased separately. And this little one, so cute. She was $3.50 and look at her hairdo. <laughs> I love it. It's like a little red curly hairdo. And is that a, I think that's a little ladybug there. It says, please be patient. God isn't finished with me yet. <laughs> and it is framed. It is not in the frame really securely, so it can come out of the frame. 
So I may list it without the frame because otherwise I will have to try and secure it in this frame better. I don't know, we'll see. It is dated on the back, 1979. Super cute. And I grabbed this beautiful pillow, needlepoint pillow. It was $1. And I believe it is handmade. I think most of these pillows are handmade, but it's got the metal zipper. And I think it is just, I don't know if it's an actual pillow in here or just some cotton batting, I think. This has got the blue on the back. Really nice condition. Beautiful floral design. I would say 19, maybe 60s, 70s maybe older. And I grabbed some towels. This yellow one was $2. It's a little hand towel. This one is a cannon towel. This one was $4. And it is a cannon as well. It's a little bit larger, so it'd be perfect to wrap hair up in after a bath or shower. And this one was in a little bit rough condition, but I bought it anyways because I love the mod blue flowers. It was $2.50. I will just keep this one for myself. There's no tags on this one that I can see. No, no tags. I will keep it for myself. I love the floral pattern, the blue. This one was $3. And I am almost positive that I have a matching one for this one out at our country home. So I may bring this one out there, or I might get that one and bring it back here and list the two together as a set. And this one is made in Canada. Cambridge towel made in Canada. And that was all for my linens and towels. And the last thing I got from Village Green Thrift Store, and you did not see me purchase this or pick this up in the video, but I spotted it. You may have seen it in the video, but it is a very old hat and it's velvet. The inside is really worn. It was very well loved. And it is society hat, it says. I'm thinking 1930s, 40s, maybe older. It's got a Bakelite piece here with rhinestones. And I just thought it was so beautiful. I paid $5 for it even though it is not in the best condition. It's all on the inside. The outside of it is in really nice condition. And I'm going to try it on for you. <laughs> we'll see how it looks. Hopefully I put it on the right way. Kind of flapperish, but also very boho hippie style. Really cute. 
I love the little tie on the side. So yes, I don't know, I might keep this for myself. It may get listed in my shop. So that was everything from Village Green. And now I'm gonna show you everything from my quick thrift store shop. And I went to, I believe it was five or six different thrift stores, thrift stores. I have a really hard time saying thrift stores. <laughs> And um, I'm gonna clear everything away here quickly and bring out all that stuff and show you everything that I got from those thrift stores. So back in a jiffy. All right, so I have done the switcheroo. I've got everything on the table and surrounding me for the second part of this haul. And I will start off with this box of goodies that I got from Mission Thrift Store. And I paid $13 for all this beautiful wood, mostly myrtle wood. There was this beautiful vase. And this one's got the glass insert. And the sticker on the bottom says myrtle wood. And another vase. This one has the sticker on the bottom as well. Really neat shape on this one. And a little one. The sticker. Is that upside down? No, it's not. And this adorable little mushroom, it's tilted, <laughs> super cute. And it says the house of Myrtlewood, Coos Bay. And then Myrtlewood perfume. And this is my second bottle of Myrtlewood perfume that I found. The other one that I found didn't have perfume in it, but this one is almost full with the myrtle wood perfume and it actually smells really nice and it's got the original tag and it was originally eight dollars so this one because it has perfume in it i will probably just keep it for myself i've shipped one bottle of perfume and i will probably never ship perfume ever again because it cost me a million dollars so I will likely keep this one for myself I do have a small perfume bottle collection and perfume so I will add this to my collection but I do have the other Myrtlewood perfume bottle that I found listed in my Etsy shop and it doesn't have perfume in it so I do have one already available and then this, I don't think is Myrtlewood. Well, there was four wood napkin rings. And I don't believe these are Myr Myrtlewood. They kind of have a naughty pine look to them. I'm not sure exactly what kind of wood they are. And this doesn't have the same look. Well, it might be. I don't know for sure if this is myrtle wood. Just because of this more naughty piece here. Doesn't look the same. It's a nice little wood trinket box. Looks like turned wood. It's got a green felt piece on the bottom, so if I remove the felt, I might be able to get more information, but I think I'm just going to leave it as is. I don't want to have to deal with that. Well, actually, it comes off pretty easy. It doesn't look like there's any information on the bottom of it, and it is peeling, so I will, I will likely remove that piece of felt. But all those pieces were $13, which I thought was a great price. And I also picked up this beautiful art glass 
Millefiori pendant that came on this piece. It's kind of a wire. And this closure is a pretty good indication that this is a vintage piece. It's a really nice glass pendant. I paid $3 for that. So that was everything from Mission Thrift Store. I can't remember where I went next, <laughs> but I will show you what I got from Value Village. I grabbed this adorable mouse. It's all white with green, I think that's glass. Yeah, green glass eyes. And he was $2.99 and he does have some felt on the bottom. So I don't think there's probably any information, so I'm gonna leave it. I don't know where this piece was made or any information about it. I've never seen one like it. So if you have any information, feel free to leave it in the comments. But I just thought he was super cute. And he was $2.99. And I grabbed this beautiful, very retro 1970s chevron afghan. And it was, I believe it was $4.99. Yes, $4.99. It's in really nice condition. I love the green color combination and the chevron pattern. Very 1970s. And I spotted this on top of a shelf, one of the racks, and a girl was looking at it. And I was looking at some Afghans and I could see her looking at it. And so I was looking the other way thinking, well, I'm not gonna get that Afghan. She's taken it for sure. And then when I looked back, it was still up on top. She had left it on top and decided not to take it. So I went over there and grabbed it <laughs> and stuck it in my basket. And I think she might've been a little bit upset that she didn't take it. <laughs> she kind of looked afterwards and I think maybe she might've thought, oh, maybe I should have took that Afghan, but I got it for $4.99 and I think it's beautiful, really well made, a nice good size. I found these two pillows. They were $2.99 each. Very 1980s, I would say. They are tapestry. Really nice condition. Very, I think that'd be cottage core, maybe. I'm not sure. But I just thought they were really fun. $2.99 each. I got these two pieces of mid-century wall decor for $4.99 each in really nice condition. Kind of got a bronze look to them, some green. And the back has a nice sort of, almost feels a little bit like a velvety texture to it. And that's the back of them. Love these. And I found one towel. And it is a Wabasso towel. It was $3.99 and it looks like it's never been used. Really nice condition. Really pretty. And these placemats were, I believe they were $5.99. And they are wicker. Uh-oh. <laughs> and those are falling off. These are, were stuck while well, they were stuck. Some of them are, oh, it's upside down too. That's probably why they fell off because I held it upside down. So they are stuck to the 
placemats. So this is a new old stock. It's never been used. And these are napkins. And I believe these are just little coasters because they look like they would come apart from the napkin. So there's little four little coasters, four little napkins. Really fun little kind of a wickery flower. And then the four placemats. Very fun 1960s retro placemats and napkins. Oh, one more thing that I got from Value Village, and I don't think this was in the video, but I spotted it and grabbed it because it matches the dinnerware that I purchased from Salvation Army for our country home. And so I grabbed this creamer. I can't remember what I paid for it. I think it was like $2.99 and it matches perfect. And we don't use sugar. Well, Wendell doesn't even drink coffee. I'm the only one that drinks coffee and I only use cream in my coffee. So I don't need a sugar bowl. And I found a really cute little creamer. So I will use that out in our country home. And that was everything from Value Village. I went to the Salvation Army and grabbed a few things there. I found this Tonala Mexican Pottery Owl and it was $3.99. It is marked Mexico and JP on the bottom in really nice condition. The nice brown flower pattern on the bottom. And I grabbed another JM glass made in Portugal candle holder. The satin glass, this one is a, it's kind of a periwinkle blue. It's blue, but it has a little bit of a tinge of purple in it. And it was $1.99. Beautiful. What I believe to be Empoli glass made in Italy. It's a beautiful amethyst color, purple. It was $3.99. Love the purple. That was everything from the Salvation Army and I went to Village Green and you may have seen this piece in a past video and I passed it up, but this time around I grabbed it. I had a closer look at it. Originally I thought it had some chips on the top here and there is a little bit of roughness but I think it is just from the ruffled design. I think it's just how it's made. I don't think that there is actually any chips on it at all. It just sort of feels a little bit rough. So I grabbed it this time and I did pay $12 for it, but I believe it is worth quite a bit more and I just think it's beautiful. The red is gorgeous. And I picked up a amber one like this at another thrift shop with the circus tent. Exact same style and shape and a little bit smaller, but amber, not red. And that's all I got from Village Green Thrift Store. And then I went to the YWCA Opportunity Shop and I found a couple things in there. I picked up this beautiful Orifors bubble glass tea light holder. It was $4. And now that I know what these are, I'm going to be looking out more for them. I'll be able to spot them more now that I've found a couple of them. I found one more like a UFO shape. 
So this one, I really like the bubble glass. It's beautiful. And it is etched Aura 4 on the bottom. You won't be able to, oh, yeah, maybe you can kind of see it. It says Aura 4 is right there. Oh, I have to reach here and I grab this trivet. It is cast iron, Canada Forge. That's a cute little trivet. I think it was a dollar. Sticker fell off, but I believe it was a dollar. And then the last piece that I found at the Opportunity Shop was this cute little Japanese doll. And I don't normally pick these pieces up. Usually I see them, you know, the tall ones with the dresses, the big fancy dresses. But I just thought she was so super cute. I love the dress. I love the colors, how it's this piece is attached to her hair. Thought she was super cute. She was $5. She does have some condition issues, a little bit of staining and stuff on her. So she's not in the best condition. I will maybe try and clean her up a little bit and make her look a little bit better. And I paid $5 for her. And that was everything from my quick stop thrift store shop. <laughs> so I totally forgot about three items that I purchased. One was a blanket from Mission Thrift Store and I got that for $14. And the other was some pillowcases that I paid $1.99 each for. And I am currently using them on my bed right now. So I will insert a clip of how they look on my bed and I will be keeping them for myself. So that is everything for today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are still here, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. And if you like my content and are not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Leave a comment down below. And until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye. Those are the pillowcases that I thrifted for $1.99 each. And the crocheted pillow sham. And then this is the chenille bed cover. It's in really nice condition. It does have a couple small snags, but other than that, it's in really nice condition. It fits the bed perfect. And I recently thrifted one of those pin tuck pillows. Those are my absolutely favorite pillows. And I just recently scored one. And you will see that in an upcoming thrift with me video. So spoiler alert, <laughs> but I had to put it with the other pillows because it looks so nice. They all go together so nicely with the pillow in the middle that I thrifted quite a while ago with the Dutch children on it. It's a beautiful embroidered design on it. And that is my thrifted finds.